All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mortgage Coach Tuesday interview. Every morning, every Tuesday morning at nine o'clock Pacific, we are here to bring value, leadership, and uh, just help you be more successful as a mortgage professional. So I'm going to kick off today's um, call with a quote. And I posted it on Facebook today. The quote is, it doesn't matter how much we know, what matters is how clearly others understand what we know. So that's part of what we do here at Mortgage Coach is we, we turn clarity into a competitive advantage. We help you deliver mortgage options, mortgage strategies in a way that gives you a competitive advantage. And so today I am super pumped to have our special guest of the day, the president of Mortgage Coach, my good friend, uh, technology visionary in the mortgage industry, Joe Pitour. What's up, Joe? Hey, Dave. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here, as always, and excited to talk to the community. Always appreciate the feedback, and, and certainly, Dave, it's a special time uh, for a lot of our lenders here. Cool, man. So before I bring you in, we also have a power user. I think a lot of people that tune in to our YouTube channel that watch our community know Scott Nicholson. Uh, here at Mortgage Coach, Scott is one of the power users of Mortgage Coach. He is a grandmaster, has done over a thousand TCAs. And then when it comes to a lot of the, the product that we've done, he's always been one of those guys that's like, hey guys, I have an idea. How about this? How about this? And the seller buy down analysis in Mortgage Coach came from some of the feedback and the requests that Scott did. So Scott, thanks for joining us on this call to uh, be the voice of the Mortgage Coach community, dude. Yeah, thanks for having me. I get to represent the front line, the guys in the trenches. You know, I'm, I'm excited because I get to check it out for the first time, all your new uh, uh, releases. So I'm going to sit on the sidelines. I'll put my commentary in and we'll go from there. Yeah, give commentary and then be ready at about the 35 minute mark to do some real world examples. Like based on what Joe said, here's some real world ways to do things. Right. Uh, Mortgage Coach community, we want to make this as collaborative as you're willing to make it we would like to know where you're at with Mortgage Coach. So uh, if you're a Mortgage Coach user, I wanna know, are you a white belt who's done less than 20 TCAs? Uh, are you a brown belt that's done over 100? Uh, black belt, how many red belts do we have on today's call? Anyone who's done over 1,000 TCAs? Looks like we've got a couple, couple red belts. We've got a lot of black belts. Uh, it does look like we have more white belts. Uh, guys, I could tell who's voted. Only 45% of you have voted, so let's get, get those votes up. Uh, and it does look like the winner is white belts. So, Joe, we got a lot of white belts on the call. And we do have some black belt, red belts, and brown belts. So, cool. Thanks, guys, for participating in that poll. If you do have questions, we will answer your questions. Just put them down below in either Facebook or Zoom, if you're in the Zoom platform. So, so Joe, before you show and tell what's new and what's coming, Let's just start with your, your Mortgage Coach why. You know, why, why are you so passionate about what you do at Mortgage Coach? Sure. Well, there's a lot of reasons, of course, that uh, people get and find themselves in the industry. But I think what drives us and our mission is just how important the mortgage is to everyday financial health. When you look across, especially the middle class of America, access to entrepreneurialism, access to quality of life strongly depends on where you live and how affordable housing is. And so when you look at the mortgage market, especially here in the States, there is a strong uh, area of innovation. We have products and services for nearly every consumer in the market. And that information is very tough to convey, especially when you think of all areas of customer understanding. You have a lot of consumers whose education might be in other subject matter. And so when you really think of what Mortgage Coach can solve and what we can do, it's quite honestly, we can change the world by putting more home ownership in the hands of everyday folks and create that capability to make dreams come true using the mortgage as part of an overall financial plan. And listening to originators, originators come from all walks of life. And when you really look at what motivates everyone on this call every day and what motivates those of us who have a, a license number and, and try to deliver this accessibility to people on, on every call and every conversation, uh, it takes a lot uh, of an individual's focus and determination to succeed in this profession. And so being able to marry that capability of leading the industry while changing the financial strength of everyday folks is is why we're here and it's why we 
really release new innovations uh, every month. Cool, man. So, so I know where your heart's at. Joe wants to change how people get into debt in America. He believes there is a better way, and that better way means that they need to look at their options over time. They need to always be looking for ways to reduce their debt, pay it off faster, save interest. Uh, so, you know, all the four essentials to making a smart mortgage decision, Joe's just passionate about uh, creating technology, creating community that helps you as a mortgage professional turn clarity into your competitive advantage. So with that said, guys, I would love to know if you have a mortgage coach, why, and you want to share it, put it in comments down below, whether you're live on this call or you're listening to the recording, like what's your mortgage coach? Why? I would love to hear, to hear that. And Scott, we'll ask you in a 30 minutes what your mortgage coach why is. So, so Joe, why don't we, why don't we start with you kind of telling us what's, what's new and what's coming in mortgage coach. Sure. Sure. So, Hey, this should be fun. And again, uh, welcome the feedback. I'm going to start with things that are in everyone's membership today. And these aren't in a particular order of importance. These are just, we got a lot of feedback from Jacob and his team. We got a lot of feedback from the community about things that are included in the membership that folks might just not know about. So we're going to uh, hit a lot of topics today. And again, I hope for a lot of questions at the end. So first and foremost, we talked about, and you had in your question as you kicked off, talking a little bit about our gamification, this concept of really understanding your progress towards excellence and being able to see it visually. And so one of the things that we have done is given you the ability to download these badges, to use in your content, whether it's your email signature or uh, on social media or other places where you wanna incorporate the, these achievements, uh, you can just click on download the badge and now you'll be able to use that badge in different assets that you want to promote your, again, focus and your capability in the industry. So any of the badges that uh, reflect your skills are all downloadable and shareable. And I know that a number of folks on this call were taking screenshots and, and doing other things like that. And so, again, this should be a very simple way for you to begin promoting, again, your excellence right away. Another area where we got a lot of feedback quite often is this concept where I've shown a total cost analysis and my customer is seeing this content. And if you're a great originator that's using this early in the conversation, they probably haven't even started their application yet. And if you work for a lender that might have a blend or a Roostify or a Simple Nexus or any number of innovative POS solutions, you've got to get the customer from the analysis to begin the application. Many folks don't know there's a start now button in Mortgage Coach. So when they click start now, you can direct that to any POS experience that you're supporting. So most of you or many of you have a point of sale that you're using or an online application that you're using. So your total cost analysis can have this simple and easy call to action link to that application service and that's simply configurable in your settings and so when you go to your contact information in your settings you can place a start now url and that will make that button appear of course there's nothing there the button isn't there so many 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 of our members have shown the feedback that they didn't know that this was there so if you just go into your uh, your settings, go to contact, then uh, enter a start now URL. You can have the start now uh, functionality in every TCA that you create. Hey, um, hey Joe, before you yeah. go to the next one, if you could go back to gamification real quick. So, yeah. so for every member that is just seeing a new badge or an achievement, uh, you know, we're, we're super excited about this functionality because it gives you a way to compete with yourself. And it gives you a way to compete, period. Let's face it, we're mortgage professionals. We love games. We love to compete. So uh, keep sharing what you're doing in the group. And for all you managers, Joe, if you could scroll down the onboarding part where it just says, see it? So every manager that wants their loan officers to use Mortgage Coach, like we are gamifying using Mortgage Coach. You know, we've even got a badge for did you download the app, API usage. Are they using the APIs to drive Mortgage Coach? consecutive logins. So if you're a branch manager, if you're a regional leader, you know, we are not only turning your loan officers into mortgage advisors, as you saw, we're integrating other digital touch points like the POS. So the mortgage coach is the virtual hub of the mortgage experience. If you believe in giving advice, then, you know, get your folks using it. Hey, Scott, 
did you know about that um, POS link? Is that something you're familiar with or you've used? No, it's really funny. I thought you were spying on me because I was actually just in my coach looking for it. <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? How'd that work again? Actually, can you rewind that? I actually would like to hear more about that. Sorry. Wait, wait a minute, Scott. You're not going to, first of all, this is recorded, guys. You can go back <laughs> and listen to it. But we're, we're showing you where the Easter eggs are at. Yeah. Guys, we got a lot to share. We can't redo it. No, but, sorry, it. but it's just funny. A guy who's done over a thousand TCAs. And, and I'm not blaming you, bro. Like, we need to do a better job of marketing this, but that's why Joe's on today's call. Right. Show you where the new Easter eggs are. Yeah, thanks. All right, so you, you're gonna use that, Scott? For, for sure, absolutely. I didn't even know it was there. Cool. Uh, by the way, if you did not know that feature was there and you're gonna turn it on today, let us know. Did you, did you dig that? Joe, what's next, dude? Yeah, absolutely. And Dave, thanks for the extra commentary on the gamification, how management folks can use it in their team oversight. We're going to have a lot of great capabilities uh, to show video achievements and other things as well. And Scott, as I mentioned, uh, it's the start now URL under contact and settings. That's where you go to turn that on. Um, so, so next up is strategy templates. So a lot of folks don't realize that we have added this concept of a strategy template. A strategy template is not just the product template or the fee template that you're familiar with, but when you're actually in an analysis that's conveying a key strategy where you have complex loan products that are being analyzed against one another, and many of you work for lenders where you might have non-QM solutions, you might have solutions that are regionally focused, you might have niche vertical solutions. These are all things where there are very particulars that you might be setting up that are outside the scope of a typical product template or fee template. We call that a strategy template. So when you're in a client and you open any client record that you're working on, you have the ability to flag it as a strategy template. So when you flag it as a strategy template, you now have all the information that was in that analysis available to apply and create to a new analysis. So if I'm going to do this uh, scenario that has four different various options of a particular niche customer, I click the strategy template and I click copy to new client and all of that collective content has been applied. So it's, it's a much more significant amount of information. And of course you have that content to then begin uh, showing and displaying the analysis that you'd expect to see. And so strategy templates are, are really uh, powerful and they have the ability to save a lot of mouse clicks uh, and the capability of just turning any successful analysis into a strategy template is part of the simplicity of use. Just being able again on that very first screen you can say yes, and you can, you can make it a template. Now, Scott, I know you use this uh, strategy templates quite a bit, and I think you've, you've saved quite a few keystrokes. Anything you would add talking about strategy templates? You're muted, Scott. Man, rookie on the Zoom today. So, um, yeah, I was just writing it down. There's two areas that I use it a lot. I use it because I do a lot of renovation too. So I have uh, a renovation, so it just loads it all in there. Um, also too, on the seller buy down, when we're engaging new realtor relationships, there's a, what's called a post drop and a pre drop template in there and it sets it up correctly. So then I would just update the, the rates and fees and our price points and off we go. Huge time saver. So real quick from the audience, we had, um, first of all, for all you that told us what belt you are, great job. If you're posting in our Facebook group, feel free to download your belt and share it. We wanna know that you know how to do these things. Uh, one person uh, said that they didn't know about the link and they loved it. One person said, you know, why would I use that? Because I've already got it out when I'm giving them the TCA. And here's the deal guys, when it comes to the TCA, Sometimes you've already, they've already filled out the app and now you're giving it to them. Sometimes you're giving them the total cost analysis to get them to fill out the app. And then here's the deal guys, part of the value of a total cost analysis is it gets shared. And so you want to encourage your clients to share it and anybody that sees it, they're called referrals, they can click on that link. So we get it, not every single client based off the sales situation is going to use it, but a lot can. One more framing statement on strategy templates. Guys, this was created because you have told us that you want Mortgage Coach to help make your job 
faster and easier. Like, like let's face it, you have more refis than you can deal with. You, you know, everybody's got a lot of leads in the market right now, and it's all about speed. And how can Mortgage Coach help you deliver advice, not just better, but faster? So we created strategy templates to make your job faster and easier. And you really can create a TCA in less than two minutes by using strategy templates. So guys, make sure you check that out. If you need more training on it, uh, you can type in strategy template, um, how-to strategy templates. And we have a lot of training in our YouTube channel and our support page. Uh, if you are using strategy templates, let us know down below. I wanna know how many people listening to this are using that feature. Joe, what's next? Yeah, well, strategy templates, again, uh, expedite the creation of the presentation and allow you to store information about those complex scenarios that, again, these products that you have uh, availability to really can help a lot of customers. And if you're able to illustrate them faster and clearer, I'm sure more people will see them. Next up, we have team access. So for those of you that are in organizations that uh, have an enterprise agreement with, our, with Mortgage Coach and you have multiple people in your company, team access allows you to collaborate on various presentations. So if you maybe have a group of assistants or you have a team of loan officers working together, when you click on team access, you have the ability to see one another. So when you select an individual, you're able to now imitate or impersonate that individual. You're then able to see the information, including the gamification statistics and other things of that nature of that particular person. So maybe you need to help refine a presentation or make some adjustments to that presentation. Uh, you're able to see the other individual. You click stop access and that goes back and now you are uh, back into your uh, core account. So you have the ability to select team access and impersonate any number of individuals. For some of the larger organizations, you might have one or two people that help support large groups of originators. So this might be a list of five, 10, 15, 20 names, but the management solution in our enterprise environment allows you to select who can see one another and really build these teams. We've seen teams really able to increase the number of TCAs sent exponentially, and of course have a vertical expertise where different people on a team can help coordinate and collaborate on a really great total cost analysis experience. So team access, but before it was available, there are a lot of workaround solutions of people having to share logins that simply is not necessary any longer. People can collaborate directly within the advice engine. So again, um, so, available now. so someone asked, this is not available in our broker edition, which is our single user, just because broker edition is one license, one person, this is available for enterprise solutions. If uh, you want it for your company, you know, introduce me to your manager, Dave at Mortgage Coach, and we will see if this can get activated for your, you know, your region or your branch or your company. Uh, Scott, are you, you guys are an enterprise licensed client. Are you using this feature? Yeah, I mean, we are, and I didn't know that was there either. So, so hold on. So that's very interesting. So I could, let's say, be the ringleader, right? And then I could uh, give team access to a group. Let's say I'm training or something like that. It's almost like a screen share. Yeah, you know, essentially you have the ability to log in as them and be able to open the presentations, edit certain fields, and they oh, see the it. So it's it's definitely a collaboration solution nice that's so, really good for teaching you know coaching let's say inside your your bank um very powerful there good yeah it's a really cool feature so i i have been doing a new series called um you know I'm, I'm interviewing top producers like i just did keith collins and it was keith collins how do you use mortgage coach jeremy forcier how to use mortgage coach so there's a new playlist in doing that but keith collins has a team member that does the setup of the TCA, and now they can better collaborate back and forth uh, in doing that. So if you are with an enterprise that has Mortgage Coach integrated into your platform, and you are a team, ask your administrator if they will turn on team access for you. Um, cool, what's next? Great, King. So I, I hope Team Access helps a lot of folks uh, collaborate and coordinate. And again, lo love the feedback. Next up, we have the automated tab. 
So the automated tab is in uh, all editions of the solution. So broker edition does have a number of integrations. You might be using Django for automation. You might have HomeBot. Um, but we have 25 integration partners here at Mortgage Coach, and those integrations all feed in to the automated tab. So if you're looking at automated on the advice engine uh, main window, what you're actually seeing are all the presentations that have come from those partner integrations. So it'll have the source. The source will be identified with the logo of the partner that is creating that presentation on the originator's behalf. If you have never opened it or worked with it or personalized it, you'll see the blue dot next to it. So you can think of that as new. So so this total number next to the automated tab is the number of presentations that all of these integrations that are doing automation on your behalf have created that you haven't taken, let's call it that final mile of making some level of changes within the advice engine itself. So you think of those as your new analyses that were created by automated sources. Uh, having these automations working in the background, uh, those of you that are familiar with folks like the Total Expert integration, an annual mortgage review is just being sent on your behalf to everyone who's closed in your portfolio. If you have Simple Nexus as a point of sale, for example, as soon as they start that application, the minute they put their first name in and start going through that application process, a TCA is being created on their behalf and it's actually viewable inside the Simple Nexus application. So all of these solutions are kind of working in the background on your behalf. And so this automated tab is there to help you find those presentations and immediately take action on them. They're also available directly in the automated tab is viewable inside of the mobile application. So many people don't realize that the advice engine or all of the editing functions, everything that you can do online, Mortgage Coach has a native application for iOS and Android that let you have all of that same level of control from wherever you are. It goes well beyond the mobile website because what you're actually controlling is all of the elements of the presentation through a native experience. We have an iOS team, we have an Android team, we invest and we build specifically to take full advantage of everything the phone can do. So you can see here, I have an automated tab, I have all my strategy templates. So all of the things that you would expect or see that you can do online, you can consume and execute through the mobile application. And, and the sheer amount of work that automations can be doing on your behalf, creating thousands of presentations, saving thousands of keystrokes is all, is all possible. When you take one of these presentations, you can open it on your mobile device. You can see everything that the integration produced on your behalf. You can edit all of the information you'd expect to edit. And the other integration points that we have to really bring that information to life are all available. So here I came in, I opened that record. I came to the loan product that was uh, created by the point of sale and I'm actually able to pull real pricing. So we have a- Hey, hey Joe, account. are you moving the device? Cause I'm not seeing it on my screen. I don't know if anything's moving. I, I don't oh, know. How there long, we go. Thank I don't you. know how long it hasn't been moving Dave but I have definitely been moving the automated uh, integrations highlighting the fact that these- Yeah, we see your are... phone now. I think your phone was buried for a minute, but it's back up. Okay, great. So you've got, you've got the automated tab directly here on the phone. Again, you're seeing the same content that you'd see uh, on the web and all that source information. If I open one of those records, I'm actually able to interact with it and do things like pull OB pricing. So here I have the record that came over from my POS. Now I know that I am going to help that customer make a commitment. A lot of people don't realize that over 35% of applications that are put in on an online system, people don't complete them. So if somebody starts and stops, how do you bring them back into that advice-based sales process and how do you convert that transaction? So ultimately, uh, the way you do that is by bridging all these sources. So in this case, uh, presentations that was created by an automated source, I've now opened in my app, and now I'm merging that with information from Optimal Blue, all with a single touch, all in a single instant. So Joe, go back to the screen where it shows the uh, strategy template on the mobile device. Scott, were you aware that we had added that automated feature and that strategy template feature to the mobile device? And no. <laughs> It's just amazing. I, I don't know. I mean, shoot, I've been here a thousand times a day and I had no idea. 
Um, there's just so much in my mind that's going right now. I know we don't have that ability as an enterprise account just from our, what we have proprietary. But I know is like, if I was a branch manager or a regional or an owner, I mean, I would take a team, a three or whatever team and just go, guys, we are going to perfect mortgage coach from a recruiting perspective, right? You know, build in all of our integrations and templates and feeds and OB. I mean, we're going to master this so I could sit down with new people or even existing ones to create increased production. If I can get to this as from a, per, from a management perspective and train my branch or my LOs or my company, oh my Lord, this is really good. Love it. So guys, I love all the feedback. Linda Buchanan, what's up? Can you show an example of an automated with Jungo? Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time. We'll come back to that because we're only halfway through the call, Linda. And if we have time, we'll show that. Uh, I do wanna make sure, because different people have asked, like what's available in enterprise? The only two integrations that work in the broker edition are Jungo and HomeBot. Uh, and, and guys, it's just the way the products are designed. I mean, Optimal Blue needs to be turned on at the corporate level. It needs a corporate project put around it and other technology platforms you know, that roll out at an enterprise level, they, it's just the only way to do it. Uh, Mortgage Coach, we have come up with a broker edition because we don't want any loan officer left behind. We want every loan officer to deliver a Mortgage Coach TCA to every family that wants it. So we have a broker edition, we just can't turn on those integrations. So don't get mad. I've had people like get upset about the fact that you can't do it. Um, don't be mad introduce us to your manager and we will be happy to engage with them and come up with a way to roll out mortgage coach at an enterprise level. Uh, Scott, anything else you want to add to this or any questions you have for Joe at this point? Muted. Scott, what are we yeah, doing with you, buddy? No, this I know. Third I just, time, dude. You know, it jumps around in Zoom and so or whatever. So no, I think it's just an, I, it's funny as an originator, right? I'm thinking, okay, this is this is great, but my mind immediately clicked into, you know, a region, a manager. I mean, I would be all over this stuff because I know a lot of the hurdles that we as just frontline loan officers have is just like, oh shoot, you know, a new something to learn. And I think if I set that team up from a corporate perspective, saying we're going to eliminate all that, we're just going to streamline everything, tie in all our back end. I mean, shoot, with the automation and everything you can do on here. I mean, that's the secret right there. And just build current teams and recruit new teams. We perfected technology as a company. That's where I would really go with this to help Love myself. it, dude. Love it. So guys, we did put a link in show notes below. If you're watching this live, regardless of which platform, there's a link to see all of the integration partners we have. And there are detailed information on all those partners. I also put a link to the Jeremy Forcier, how he uses Mortgage Coach. So that's in show notes down below. Uh, Joe, what's next, brother? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, really glad to hear the feedback. For the Jungo question, uh, the, you'll see that the analysis has the logo from Jungo, and Jungo has a phenomenal integration. You can do all kinds of great filters. I'm sure that team would be happy to set up a demo with us together. So next up is uh, a video enhancement. You know, we do a lot to make video more accessible to everybody. We noted that in gamification, we highlight that a video um, has been created and really try to make sure everyone knows how to create that video content and have the conversations that are necessary to create a personalized presentation with the help of video. So one of the things people don't realize is that when you click record video and you pick the total cost analysis and it brings up the presentation to record that video, you have three options, right? You have in the web browser, which will use your camera right away and you have audio only. So if you don't wanna be on the camera in this particular moment, you can still bring the presentation to life with your voice, your tone, using your microphone. But there's the in mobile app. And so what a lot of people don't realize the innovation that went behind this is not everyone likes the web camera. Webcam can have, you know, awkward uh, focus. It can be in a, an awkward angle. Uh, your phone has a lot more flexibility. If you have the Mortgage Coach app installed and you've logged into it, when you click in the mobile app, even if the app's closed, even, you know, whatnot, you click in the mobile app, it's going to send a notification to your device. And when you touch that, 
it's going to immediately open the camera. So you don't have to navigate in the app and try to find the record. You don't have to log back in. It's just going to send you a native notification and trigger that concept of recording video. And so that's the point. The point is I'm sitting at the computer, I'm building this analysis and I don't want to use the camera that's in front of me. I don't want to use this webcam. I want to use the phone's camera and the superior experience and the better angle and all those things. It's a single button click away. So I'm just going to show that one more time to make sure everyone got that. My phone's closed, the app's not there. I click record video, presentation generates. I have three options. And when I click the in-app option, you get a native notification. This works the same on Android too. If you've got an Android device and uh, you want to trigger uh, the camera. So. so guys, this is a ridiculous innovation. I mean, not only for the mortgage industry, but in all industries where we are taking a loan officer from working in their laptop, you know, doing a laptop experience to popping a mobile phone and letting you record where you have a higher quality camera, higher quality video. And again, we're committed to helping you digitally connect with your families. Hey, Joe, could you just remind them? I want them to see where they can also drive the live experience. Cause we, yeah. we are committed to not only making things faster and easier for you, we are committed to helping you connect with your families in a virtual world. So you can put that video anytime, anywhere, and you can also drive a live experience on your mobile phone. Could you just show them that you've, you've had it up a couple times, like on the mobile phone where they could click live. Yeah. Just remind people that you could drive live from a laptop or a mobile device. Yeah, Dave. So you should be seeing my phone. I now have the record. If I open the total cost analysis, I have the ability to click live right here. And from the mobile device, again, I can get that alert that someone's viewing the presentation at an odd time of day. And I can immediately start taking control of that presentation, highlighting content, going to the sub content, highlighting fields, highlighting charts, and all that movement will be seen uh, by the viewer on their device. And so it's, it really gives you the power from the palm of your hand. And even though, again, I'm showing this on iOS, the Android users on the phone, you have all the same capabilities. So guys, I'm gonna put a link to the Todd Duncan TCA. So don't watch the video right now, but there's a script from Todd Duncan on how he would position the TCA. I'm gonna put a link in chat and, and then I'm gonna drive a live experience in a few minutes but make sure you watch that script from Todd Duncan and then we'll, we'll actually let you experience this for yourself in just a few minutes. Keep it rocking, brother. You're killing it. And, we're, and by the way, everybody, thanks for all the feedback. People are loving this. And remember, this is recorded. It'll be in our YouTube channel. If you are liking it, make sure you give it a like. If you love it, give us a love, whatever channel you're in. What's next, dude? Cool, man. All right, so we triggered the webcam. Uh, next up, we're gonna take a look at in-product training. So what you're gonna start seeing now in the online advice engine is the ability to see training content. So you'll see available trainings. These are trainings that not only are we going to be producing on your behalf, these are trainings that your organization, if you're an enterprise customer, going to be able to have and, and trainings can be exposed to specific users in specific situations. And so when you click it, basically what it's allowing to have happen is content can be placed on every screen. The content that's on the screen can be bullet point content. It can be question content. So people can have more of a Q and a kind of uh, a multiple choice, my quizzing type of function it can also be video content. So you can embed videos that explain products. Again, I talked a little bit about non QM niche solutions earlier. Not only is it important to have strategy templates that help pre-fill that information, you can have a training lesson that helps people understand what needs to be filled out when, think about the complexities of down payment assistance, think about CRA loans for some of the banking folks on the line today. I mean, the fact of the matter is that niche products and other products that require more information to be conveyed to all originators, that consumers that fit those profiles don't always get those options. So we've worked very hard to make it so, or excuse me, we've worked very hard to make it easy so that you can uh, train and learn not just how to use Mortgage Coach Advice Engine,
but how to display the products and scenarios that your particular lender makes available to you in the best way possible. And previously, the only way to convey this information was getting together like this, getting on a webinar, spending an hour, and, and really having to be coordinated. And that needs to be augmented with things that can be consumed on demand at any time. And so having training directly built into the solution is, is really important to see. So again, just to, to review that one more time, when you enter a new client, you will see available trainings and the dropdown will have trainings that we produce as well as trainings that your organization can produce. So when you select that training, the screens will change and that content that I mentioned, whether it's bullet points, video, or multiple choice questions will appear on the screens that are relevant for the training content. So we think this is gonna help a lot of people learn a lot faster and a lot, allow a lot of organizations to provide instruction that's based exclusively on products that are relevant to them. Love, love, love this, guys. So we, we believe that there is a better way to make a mortgage decision, and we want to power you guys to do that. So real quick, I just want to show the quick feature of how to drive the live. I am in a TCA with a family. I could click record a video like Joe just did. I'm going to click preview and highlight. Let's see how many of you have clicked on that link. So again, in Zoom, I put a link. In Facebook, I put a link. Let's see how many people have clicked on the link. So come on guys, click on that link. We can see in the upper right-hand corner how many of you have done it. And I know the number is more than zero. So the link is there. Any second now, we will see um, people playing the game and getting the Mortgage Coach live experience. Joe, have you clicked on that link? Joe, can you hear me? Yeah, Dave, I was just bringing up the, some of the things from development right now. Let me go ahead and bring up that link. Nice okay, there we go. So guys, look, look at this. I can click on that. And if you clicked on the link, you'll see it looks like four of you have clicked on it. You'll actually see it move. So again, in today's world and tomorrow's world, delivering a virtual experience where you can say, hey, family, this is the current loan you have. You have an interest rate of 4.75 or whatever it is. You, you know, walk them through the details. Uh, here is an option, you know, with one rate. Here's an option where you pay it off faster with a different rate. You can walk them through the options. You can pull up more information, get into the transactional details. Make sure you guys are using fee worksheets or excuse me, um, fee templates for this. Uh, you can show them different investment strategies on how they can pay off their house faster. So again, all of this can be done. Uh, it looks like we've got eight of you checking out that feature. So anyways, I wanted to make sure you check that out. And Joe, I'll hand it back to you for uh, the next thing you want to show. And by the way, so, Joe, we don't and, see and I, and I hope I hope everyone has had a chance to experience the live functionality. And, and of course, we can spend more time on, on other ways that we can enhance it. We've got a lot of things coming when it comes to the ability to do things live with the customer. But accessing it uh, easily from the mobile app or from the web is certainly something that we've made better recently and hopefully that review helps more people use it. Okay, another quick item uh, that's a, a, a lot of the time saver, especially in the sharing world, is the fact that we have an iMessage app. So for our iPhone users, you have this ability to have apps on your messenger. Uh, this is iMessage for your phone. Now, forgive me, I am in the development version to show you some new enhancements. So the logo will be the Mortgage Coach logo rather than this developer logo. But you'll see when you pick the uh, app in Messenger, you have direct access to all of your client reports and all of your partner reports. And so you're able to simply select one of those presentations directly from iMessage uh, pick it and it will just put that link directly into the uh, message application. So you don't actually have to go open the Mortgage Coach app, find the individual and uh, create the link. You have the ability to use this neat Apple function of having a native app inside of iMessage to immediately find the link that you want and send it directly to your customer. So I, again, I know there's a lot of iOS users here on the line. You have the access to this pretty neat and quick app. Guys, this works right now. I mean, I'm looking at it on my phone 
again, it's all about speed. Remember guys, we know how busy you are. There's a refi tidal wave coming. Rates are likely to get down into the lower twos. Use these tools. It will help make your job faster and easier. Scott, did you know about this particular feature, dude? I'm the worst co-host ever. I did not. <laughs> no, bro. I like, actually figured that you may not know of some of this yeah. stuff. So you're, you're, you're fine. fine. You know what's really funny? You know what just popped in my head when he was doing this? Because I text a lot of my presentations. I mean, pretty much 80% of the time, right? I'll put it, but I text a lot of it. So shoot, I can actually have a life now, maybe. If, I, if I'm getting so efficient with technology, I can probably see my family, even though we're all at shelter in place. I mean, this is going to be great. <laughs> so Mortgage Coach Community, if you have used this feature, let us know down below. If you like this feature and you're like, oh my gosh, that'll save me time, I'm going to use it. Let us know in comments down below. We want to know if you've used it. We want to know if you like it. Killer. Well, I, again, I hope everyone likes that. I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to talk a bit about things that are coming and things that are uh, on the way. Uh, you know, everything that I've shown so far are things that you can immediately do in the solution right now. Um, but I'm going to show a few things that are coming in the next few weeks, the next few months um, that I think are, are really interesting and, and love to get some feedback and, and everyone to be uh, prepared for. So one of the key enhancements and one of the key focuses at Mortgage Coach is making sure that we create connectivity to data sources to eliminate the data entry. So you're familiar, we of course have Optimal Blue. We have the ability to come in if you have Closing Corp or Lodestar or many other fee providers in the near future, you can select them and import the fees directly without having to manage templates, et cetera. Another area where this comes into play is MI. And so we've integrated the ability to get MI pricing. And so starting with MGIC as the first provider and adding additional providers over time, you're able to get some of that risk-based pricing savings and other content that you'd expect directly into the mortgage coach scenario. So again, as I look at what's important to me is that you're able to focus on the conversation with the customer. If I can save data entry, and if I can ensure that the information is more accurate than ever before, by getting the information from these repositories, like a pricing engine or a fee engine or the vendor of a third party service like MGIC and others, I can ensure that you're able to deliver more presentations and spend more time with the customer. And that of course is our, our ultimate goal is more conversions. So adding MI as well as enhancing these other data sources is something we're spending a lot of R&D and a lot of our development time on. And, and again, the introduction of risk-based pricing rather than a rate card from MI providers has created complexity in making sure that you're able to have the most accurate analysis possible. So we've uh, uh, built these integrations and, and hope to hear some, some great feedback. Moving right along uh, in the interest of time, again, I'm sure there's gonna be uh, data sources, other people have suggestions, MLS information and other great things down the road. And, and certainly you're gonna see some of those items. Uh, one of the areas, of course, we've spent a lot of time in is what else can we show? What else can be included in the total cost analysis? And so debt consolidation is something that everyone who's on this call has asked for. How can we better show people in a refi situation? How can we better show people that want to use the asset of their home to execute a wealth plan strategy that goes beyond just accruing savings and a, a break-even analysis like you do in Mortgage Coach today? Uh, we've created a detailed debt consolidation uh, presentation and strategy that's incorporated into the solution. So the way that this works is each loan product that you produce in Mortgage Coach can have a debt plan attached to it. So when you're in the Mortgage Coach solution, you come to goals for the customer, there'll be a debts button, and you can assemble a very complex scenario of all of the liabilities that customer has, as well as prepayment approaches and in reinvestment approaches to ensure that you're illustrating a savings plan and action on the equity that they have in that home 
that can result in a healthier financial prospect for that customer. So the debt consolidation is an element of the total cost analysis that exists right now. And so all the functions we showed, like highlighting things and highlighting fields and then following along are all supported in this new solution, as well as many different forms of debt that you'd want to illustrate. Uh, we think that helping people become debt free, as Dave said early in the call, is one of the most important responsibilities we have as professionals. And we think a debt consolidation that better illustrates the power of the mortgage you're presenting will help convey that. And so you'll see this uh, later at the end of the quarter uh, available to illustrate within the Mortgage Coach Advice Engine. So I'll take a quick pause. I know MI data is exciting and certainly debt consolidation is super exciting. Uh, Scott, I don't know if you have any initial feedback. Dude, by far, not even close. It's probably one of the most massive rollouts, I mean, in your history. I mean, this is unbelievable. Um, I mean, there's just so much. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I have to watch this thing a couple times tonight just to get into it, just to get me refreshed with it. And what's funny, I was writing notes. I mean, like, well, going back to the beginning of this thing, clarity. I mean, Donald Miller, I remember I listened to the audiobook Store Brand. He said in there, one thing that just totally resonated, and this is Mortgage Coach, is you may have a good product, right? That means you may have a great strategy, great bank, great rate, all the solution, but the one who can present the simplest to a consumer will win. If your competitor maybe has an inferior product but does a better job of communicating, they'll win the deal. Even though the product's inferior, right? Let's say like a high interest rate because they did a better job at communicating, the client went with that. I mean, so that's, that's mortgage coach right there. It's about clarity. So, I mean, that was one. Number two, just, I mean, the screen share, the strategy templates, all of the back end, it, go, it took me back to Dan Rawich. Jeremy and I worked for Dan at a bank and I was the national sales manager. And I did a lot of the training and recruiting and all that stuff. So my brain immediately clicked on, man, if I'm a branch manager in today's, one, this would have made my job all a heck, heck of a lot easier eight, nine years ago, right? But, but bring it today, if I'm a company, I'm a branch, I'm a team leader, shoot, I am diving in this, I'm getting everything set up, having maybe a partner with me, and just we're trying to take in a current LL and I know just by implementing this, I can get them to here. Or if I can say, hey, if you come work for us, this is what we can provide. Turnkey, done. Simple, seamless, done. I would, my mind immediately went into that. And live, zip, live. The live feature is a mandatory. I do about two to three a day where I'll, I'll take the lead, I'll figure it out, take my notes, build the TCA, I'll send the link, I'll text them, hey, when are we ready? We'll jump on a call, they'll open it up, and we get right in there, click in this, and everyone goes, oh, how cool. So it's literally like them sitting on the desk, on the other side of the desk from me now, even in a shelter in place, right, on our separation now. So I think it's critical that you have clarity. The one, well, even if you're inferior, clarity wins it. Number two, if I was some type of a manager, leader, or bank, I'm definitely integrating the technology to help my, my current grow or recruit grow. And then lastly, use some of these, like the live features is a prerequisite. So awesome job, pretty impressive. So, so lots of feedback from the community. I think we have over 30 comments in Facebook. We have over 30 comments in Zoom. So thank you for everybody that's saying nice things. John said, this is fantastic. Alan White made a feature suggestion. Guys, let us know what else can we do to help you. We do have a feature suggestion um, form in our support center. And let's face it, everything that gets submitted there that gets the most votes gets done. So I urge you to submit those there. Uh, Alan, I will make sure that that's on the list and it's considered. Um, here's the, I also have a number of people say, hey, I'm, I follow you on YouTube. I'm part of the Facebook group. I have put a link in this show notes down below and in comments below. If you just want to sign up for Mortgage Coach right now, as individual users, it's $120 a month, no commitment and no setup fee. And if you decide not to sign up, it only costs you one loan a month. So you choose, sign up $120 a month or lose a loan a month. 
Uh, for all you members, uh, I am going to put a link down below on the quickest and fastest way to create a TCA, just to make sure you know how to do strategy templates, you know how to do feed templates. It's going to be called how to create the fastest TCA, link down below. And I also recommend you watch this again. Just make sure you got everything. Joe, is there anything else you want to make sure you show in today's uh, what's new and what's coming? Yeah, yeah, I definitely can never always get through the whole list, right? So I'd love to, to spend more time. We'll have some follow-ups in, in some additional coaching calls, I'm sure. But I do have a couple of other quick hit items to uh, plug in here at the end. So, yeah. well, and by the way, let's try to give one minute just to give Scott to do a mortgage, at least one mortgage strategy. Yeah. yeah. But show us what else you got. Absolutely. So we have the funded button. So this is available today. It's exposed today. We've gotten a lot of folks who have asked what is it for and what's coming. So the total cost analysis is going to have capabilities of changing based on once the loan is funded, what do you want to show? Today, it's going to allow you to sort your total cost analyses better. So you can find any transaction that you have and you can select the funded uh, button and then you can pick the close date and of course the product that was funded. So you have all the information here. I'm going to say it was this conforming 15 and you're able to save that information to the total cost analysis. And again, there's a lot of enhancements that will tie into that information. Very powerful in terms of making sure that that customer reinteracts with the content in the future. Another item that uh, was brought up to make sure that we mention is the toolbox. So inside of Mortgage Coach today in the advice engine, to the right, you have this content. You've seen it automatically change a number of times in my presentation today. But if you click these gears, you can see other tools that are available. One of the most important is the OB uh, indices, which gives you a lot of information about what the market is doing in addition to what you see in RateWatch. And one of the charts I think is very helpful is seeing the credit and LTV comparison, as well as the rate trends and the rate indices that you can see what other lenders are locking uh, today and currently, and that information becomes shareable for you to share with your customers as well. So if you open it in RateWatch, you can share that content. But we could spend another two hours, Dave, on great stuff. <laughs> right. And so, you know, Scott, I would, I'd really make sure that you have a moment to help people understand how to take some of this into action and, and certainly provide any feedback that, that you'd like to share. So, so guys, thank you for all the feedback we're getting from the community. We put links down below, whether you want to learn how to create a TCA faster, whether you want to sign up and get on the team, jump on it. Uh, Scott, if you could share your screen and show a couple world, real world strategies of how you, you're taking the mortgage coach advice platform, putting it into the market. Um, I have to jump in a minute, but I'll let you and Joe close out the call. So Joe, if you could just stay on and help wrap up the call with Scott. And Scott, tell us what you're doing and how you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I mean, impressive. Impressive for the two of you to roll all that out. I mean, that's that's a lot. I mean, that's pretty pretty amazing. So I gotta go back and, and try to implement a lot of this stuff. So so from, I guess, some perspective of just in the street, um, you know, what am I doing? Um, shoot, there's a couple things. What do I got, a minute, a couple minutes? Um, I'll show you this one right here. Um, this one I actually did, I ran, long story short, a uh, client got referred, so talking about being shared and referred, this client came from um, an online lead through my renovation, I funded his loan, did a couple of his refis, he referred me Dr. Kirby, which I'm doing her now, about ready to fund, she referred the nurse in her hospital, they're up in Northern California. Ran it, ran the credit, and then I got into like, shoot, her credit's not very good. Um, and I looked at it, and there's a lot of debt. And so I immediately pivoted, pivoted into a two step plan. So, and I just recorded this video. I'm actually having a call with her right after this call. And so I'm just going to restructure it. Basically, her current plus her mortgage and minimum credit cards. I showed second column, step one, you know, we're gonna pay off all the debt. In re cash flow wise, we're gonna free up 1741 a month. Six months later, I'm gonna recreate the file, do a rate and term, and then move her back with higher FICO scores. And the reason her FICO scores are low, which is a conventional cash out, she has like 696, I think it was. Um, 
and then I'm showing her now step two. So it's really two refis. So a seven month plan, step one, pay off all the debt, save 1741, step two, rate and term. I'm reinvesting the $2,000 here. So she's making the same payment as she is now. We paid off the house in nine years. So nine and a half years. So it's a pretty, I mean, so this is gonna be very prevalent moving forward of dealing with consumer debt. So I think you guys need to be very active you know, being able to handle this. And I know one of the things in the video, in, a, in, in the call next, I'm doing a live, it's got five and an eighth. I go, well, it's cash out. Not only that, she has no closing costs. So, and then just to get to step two without altering that um, liability or that new debt. And so this is really powerful to show this. So I'll even text you guys at like, let's say 11 o'clock. All right, we're moving forward. One, because I, I had the clearest plan um, and so on. So another thing that I think is really important in today's market is you, you have to get into your move up presentations. You have to figure that out. And one of the things, you know, I'm a big seller buy down guy, obviously. And so when you get into, so here's one of the presentations is, um, if you see this, this is a move up, uh, making it affordable in a COVID environment is pre COVID actually I spelled it wrong right there. Sorry. So pre row one, this is what their goal was. They needed a payment of 6,800. This is how they're going to do it. And then now as Jumbo's went away and now Jumbo's back, I'm at like four and a half. And so it's really altered the affordability on there. And so how I'm structuring it now in this particular one, a million five twenty three with a seller buy down in the third row, I brought affordability back. And so, and I'll give you an example. If you look at my screen, Here's Starkey. There's a jumbo seller buy down just originated. There's a there's three. Uh, Andy Mark, a large VA jumbo seller buy down originated, and there's Joyce Amit right here. So another jumbo. So literally, it's about five million in jumbo seller buy downs I've originated in the last probably week and a half. And so I think one debt consolidation is number one. Number two. Um, then being proficient at that. Number two, um, get your move up presentations dialed in and I'll share a couple with you. Number three, seller buy down works really well, especially the second trustees uh, basically sheltered in place with us and they're gone and your jumbo starts to move out, but it's not a healthy rate environment in that just yet. So really the, uh, the seller buy down has saved me and actually my partners and my consumers. So I'll leave it at that. Um, so you can have a couple minutes to close, Dave or Joe. Well, thanks, Scott. I think the community always appreciates the insight and certainly makes things more actionable. And to everyone who's made comments in the chat, we certainly appreciate the feedback. And as always, our innovations come from the, the uh, input from all of you who are active in our community. Um, so I'm sure we're going to get a chance to answer all the questions. I would note a couple of the questions that where there's uh, some folks asked where that iMessage app was. That's just iMessage. Uh, that's just the messaging app, the texting app yeah. in the iOS by default. Yeah, so you can show your apps right along the bottom, and one of the apps is Mortgage Coach. So you certainly can experience that. And again, uh, many integration partners can use the Broker Edition solution. Jungo, Homebot, and others are uh, being added. Uh, and certainly everything that we showed for the enterprise is available to enterprises, no matter how small or large they are. So even if your organization is just a few folks working together, I encourage you to reach out to, to our team, to Dave, to sales at mortgagecoach.com. Happy to talk to you about how we can set up team access and, and other things that we highlighted here. And we've got a lot of additional innovation uh, on the horizon. I think that we know that the market is really going to depend on advisors not just technology, not just, you know, automation, but to understand debt and to understand how to plan for debt appropriately, you need the advice of the folks that are on this phone. So I hope that I help all of you every day be just a little bit more successful and I'm happy to help any uh, way that I can. So always feel free to reach out to Joe at Mortgage Coach, uh, Dave at Mortgage Coach, or again, Scott, I'm sure he's always willing to help as well. Thanks, Absolutely. Scott. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Great job on that. Excited to dig in. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. All right, take care.